fancy cup. How about that? All right, guys, what's up? I got a lot of email questions in my inbox, uh, so thank you guys for those. I promise there'll be an inbox video tomorrow. I've been traveling a lot, so I haven't made one yet, because a lot of these questions are pretty involved. All kinds of questions here. There is one question I wanted to address today, and I want to say that this question inspired me to do something monthly. Maybe bi-monthly, but probably monthly. Um, one of the questions, uh, actually a lot of people have been asking this, and even people on the forum have been saying, uh, what's the best gaming rig for $1,000? So from now on, starting today, every month we're going to release our specs for what we think the best $1,000 gaming rig is. We may also do this for $500, $1,500, but right now we'll start off with $1,000. So best $1,000 gaming rig, let's start off with the CPU. We're going to use the Intel i5-2500. You can grab these right now for around $210. If you want to grab the 2500K, you can get those for about $250. Uh, now that does come with the cooling fan, but we're, we're going to ignore that. You should probably ignore the cooling fans. I mean, it'll, it'll keep it cold. Well, not cold. It'll keep it cool enough to run. But if you want to overclock or do anything phenomenal with your system, uh, you're going to want to pick up a better cooling fan. So check this out. You can get it. As, you can get the uh, Zigma Tech Loki. That's uh, SD963. And that's a 92mm uh, hydro-bearing CPU cooler. Now, what's nice about this, first off, the hydro-bearing fan is nice and quiet. So uh, while it's spinning in there, it's going to be almost whisper quiet. Hydro bearing fans also last a lot longer, so that's all good. Uh, one other thing that's really nice about this, this supports a push-pull configuration. So if you have an additional fan of your own, you can put it on the back and set up a push-pull and keep the CPU nice and cool. This is going to allow you to overclock, and it's only 29 bucks. That's what I found on the internet right now. For the motherboard, I looked around at a lot of motherboards. I was thinking about P67, and I looked at Z68. Some of the Z68 boards are really expensive. Then I found the ASRock um, Z68 Extreme 3 Gen 3. Um, now, this motherboard, uh, originally it had a few problems. People were complaining about the build quality and that sort of thing. And it seems they've remedied this, because I looked at a lot of reviews, read tons of customer reviews all over the web, um, and most of those have been remedied at this point. Now, mind you, this is only dual channel, but... 32 gigabytes, and it'll take DDR3 at 2133 megahertz. That, that's what it supports with overclocking. Now, um, it also has two 6 gigabit SATA ports, which is really nice because we're going to throw an SSD in here. And uh, it has um, dual PCI Express. Now, the single PCI Express runs at 16x. If you're going to run two cards in here, it runs at 8x, 8x. So, very good motherboard for the money, and I really, really couldn't find anything that, that was better. And it also looks nice. So, if you got a system with a window, you know, there you go. All right, for the memory, I decided to go with the G-Skill Sniper Series. Um, this is an 8-gig kit. It's uh, two 4-gig gig sticks of DDR3, so you'll still have two of your slots empty if you want to upgrade later. It's only 65 bucks, and, and um, all the reports online say that it runs extremely well at the advertised 2133 megahertz. So definitely recommended there. The case, I really like what Fractal Design is doing because they're making elegant, clean cases, and they're somewhat inexpensive. Check out the Fractal Design Core 3000. This is an ATX mid-tower case, and um, this comes with three fans installed. It's only 69 bucks, and it will support large graphics cards. So, really nice. It also has the hard drive base. If you guys watched our, uh, uh, what was it, the Arc MIDI? Yeah, the Arc MIDI. Yeah, if you guys watched our Arc MIDI video, the, the um, hard drive bays do the same thing. They come out, and they can rotate 90 degrees, and you can put them back in. So that's how it supports the larger GPUs. All right, for the PSU, I wanted something to allow you guys to upgrade in the future. So I wanted something that could support a second graphics card. So we'll, taking that into mind, I also demand 80 plus. Even if I'm building a cheap system, it has to be 80 plus because if the power supply is bad, it could go and then destroy lots of other things with it. And that's very, very bad. We don't want that around here. So I grabbed the uh, Mushkin Enhanced. The model number is MKN PSJL800. This is an 800 watt. PSU, and it's 80+. plus. Uh, that's the efficiency. Can't go wrong there. Now, for the hard drive, I thought about using a, a mechanical drive, but no, I'm not going to do that. A lot of you guys already have mechanical drives laying around everywhere. Grab one and use it for storage. This hard drive that I'm going to recommend is for your um, operating system and a few other things. So here's what I'm going to recommend. Get the OCZ Agility 3. Uh, now, the exact model number is agt 3 25 SAT3-60G. It's 80 bucks. It's only uh, 60 gigabytes, so you're only going to want to install a few things on it, like your OS and a few other things that you need to access all the time. But, um, you know, you're going to get a lot of speed out of that SSD. 
This is gonna be like the fastest system for $1,000. I guess that's really the idea of what we're doing here. Now for the GPU, since I was gonna really build a gaming rig, I put most of the money into the GPU. I'm gonna grab a GTX 570. Those are around $330 going right, give or take, depending on whether you grab one of the overclocked editions or not. But the one I found online was $330. And uh, the nice thing about the GTX 570 is that it gives you a lot, a lot of speed for the money. Also, there's a lot of CUDA cores and a lot of the editing programs and, and whatnot out there do take advantage of those CUDA cores. So you're going to get a benefit in games and you're also going to get a benefit in your different rendering programs or, you know, graphic programs, that sort of thing. All that together, the total was 10, 12. And I imagine, you know, since prices are falling and Intel has the new Ivy Bridge coming out very, very soon, the new CPUs are coming out. I imagine the 2500K is going to drop. The 2500 is going to drop. Even the 26 and 2700, those are all going to drop. So keep an eye on that. If you're not going to buy this week and you end up buying in a few weeks, you know, when the Ivy Bridge comes out, you may be able to get a better deal on those. So that's kind of where I'm at. All right. And now if you want something that's absolutely insane for around this, this, this amount of money, but you're willing to spend about 130 bucks more, check out the Radeon 7950. This card is extremely efficient, extremely, extremely efficient. Um, it, it doesn't take a lot of power. It runs cool, and it uh, it meets or beats the GTX 580 on almost everything. So for the money, I really like the uh, the 7950. It's a $460 card currently. That's the you know, average going rate. And if you guys go with that GPU instead of the 570, uh, you're going to come out to 1142. I know that's over budget, but you know, every every month I'm going to add on like if you want to spend an extra hundred bucks, here's what you can do. Just to let you know. So start digging through the couch grab the extra hundred bucks. I'm going to put this article on raisetheworld.com. So go over to raisetheworld.com and check it out right there. You can make your comments. You can say, you're a moron. I bought that part and I hate it. I'd rather have this GPU or this CPU. So go ahead, argue with me. I will come to your house and I'll shake your hand for being brave enough to do so. Then I'll punch you. <laughs> you knew it was going to end in violence. It always ends in violence. All right. Uh, email me inbox at raisetheworld.com. Inbox video coming tomorrow. See you guys next time. <laughs>